government provider. Right. Welcome aboard, etc., etc. I'll give you the speech later. Right now, we need you and your big, strong drone friend to get on top of SRS HQ and steal a server. Think you can handle that? Heading there now. The bug. Objective voice of objection for a most objectionable world. Hello, Bugsters. Welcome to The Bug, the comedy show that holds up the Medusa of satire to the already immovably concrete face of modern Britain. <laughs> I'm Andy, I bench 480, and I can crack a tree in half <laughs> just by looking at it. Can I? Well, what is reality? It's truth news. According to an official poll, 98% of Londoners are very happy with CTOS. And I am not sure that I agree with this, Andy. I don't think 98% of Londoners have ever in the history of London ever agreed on anything. You could, you could not get 98% of Londoners to agree that oxygen was better than breathing a fog of raw liquid faeces. And they expect us to believe that everyone agrees with CTOS is better than not closing our shipments. I'm here. I'll highlight the server with the AR reconstruction software. It's out of reach, so you'll need to use a heavy cargo drone to steal it. Vehicle's loaded, so you're all set. Now don't drive like a sodding nutter. Keep that thing in one piece. Yeah, thanks for the advice, mate. This is fucking mad. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Download complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. <sighs> this is brilliant. Look at this. It's compiling data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, maybe. civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location Auto 24 hours ago. Fantastic. Well, not my body weight. Okay. Body weight of a baby. <laughs> DTOS is better than not choking on shit, miss. Received, we are in pursuit. <laughs> uh, maybe they just spent 98% of the time specific to the internet. <laughs> Two bought shares in the internet to, to every crevice of the country. I mean, this is, this is not just any old poll. Say that. This is not any, any poll. This is an official poll. Right from the very heart of government. Be careful, it's taking too much damage. A few more hits and it's toast. Requesting ambulance and 
server forever. We should probably wipe our prints off it anyway. Go on. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! Be advised, we are on the trail. In the back of this windowless van. <laughs> I think official calls are like the unsolicited dick pics that the government provides us. I didn't ask for it, I don't believe it, it's on an angle, you've artificially inflated it ahead of time. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? We pulled off a heist, made life a bit harder for the tyrants of the world, and most importantly, I got a new toy to play with. Now, run along back to the safe house. Sabine wants you and your new teammates for a briefing. Now, where they can spy on my every bowel movement. There's a, a CTOS camera installed inside my underwear drawer. A media drone is scaring the birds off my garden bird feeder, and you can't get me consistently hot water. Uh, speaking of uh, media drones, I mean, they're everywhere. Nibbling away on the rotting carcass of a once free Britain. Yum, yum. Hello, Resistance fans. You're listening to the Punk Podcast, the objective voice of objection for this most objectionable world. I am Andy, not my real name, so good luck finding me, Monsieur Bloom. My real name is, in fact, Andrew, uh, and I live in, note this down, a deluded pseudo-reality of my own making, which is, in fact, <laughs> the most densely populated place on Earth these days. Joining me, as always, my next Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that dead sec are fighting along with them. That's all well and good, but it's the power brokers that need to be brought down. There was a word for Albion back in my day. It started with an end and ended with a Nazi. And Clan Kelly, they're preying on the most vulnerable. We need to take them out too. Fair, but remember that this zero-day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London.
Nothing but concrete rubble and twisted steel. Fucking spooky knowing this is where all these people bought it. Supposed to be abandoned and under repair. signal is coming from this spider bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. How the hell did it end up here? And in this mangled state? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Relays to go. Check him down. One more data relay, and I'll have it. and got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Acknowledged. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back here? Don't trust the Kelly dog.
Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Acknowledged. RDX Nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero day written all over it, yeah? Yeah, hurry. Got all the deliveries. So you were hired to hire all the targets? Stop it. We're all on need to know. Zero day had multiple crews coordinating this. Three-dimensional chess, man. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction, but if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. They knew it was behind the bombings months ago. It's a fucking conspiracy and the filth is in on it. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. You think you are, I'm thinking, Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of Spiderbot from the Tone bombing site. Must be a way to ID the last user. Navigate the Spiderbot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I've got this.
That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would... Look at all this junk! You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening.
I have it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. This fucking rabbit hole just goes deeper and deeper, doesn't it? Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Drone, begin a search. This MP was exposed as corrupt and resigned from office. Fast forward a few months and he's back in politics, this time as a lobbyist, advancing the interests of Blue, Tidus and Albion. Find out more tonight at GBB. Max, little help here. How do I get in? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's definitely out of the way. Perfect spot to do some off-the-book shit. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Well, fuck. We got ourselves a rogue cop shop. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Enough to follow a lead all the way to the tone bombing. What do you think, Bagley? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the... ...inner throne in with the Kellys, waiting on the bloody lizard people to join the conspiracy. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Well, I'm not sitting on my ass while they go on abducting people off the street. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Drive now and name. This Albion clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste.
I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation and an enormous number of missing person cases centre around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. We should find our contact. I'm afraid of what Albin might do to Angel if they discover he's dead sec. of your entry get you in quick and quiet you haven't put me in the system right we're trying to keep this off the books no worries i'll ask both well come meet me on the rooftop what's going on here this place is worse than a prison camp every day i see people come through here torn from their homes and their families but i'd rather stay and keep our eye on things Maybe help out once in a while, like no. My God, this place is a travesty. And the government is okay with this? Anyone here could disappear unnoticed. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Of course, because Mary Kelly has to stick her nose in everything. The vulture. Truth. Now, about your missing guy, the best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone I call. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. You lost your mind. What? There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez.
Go on, Badly. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labeled Exit Interview. Where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing of problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking dogs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you. You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh. Right, you? Wow, you're right. Now shut it. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. Just get them the out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Ah! Fuck! What was that? They implanted him with something. We need to take a closer look. for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orgy that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. So why did they implant a microchip in Angel? Diagnostics? Biometrics? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Let's keep following. Maybe he got away. Fucker! Get it! Before he triggers! Fuck! He's getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel.
Guess you're right. Let's tube him, get him in the van and out to the incinerator. Damn. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I knew that microchip wasn't just a tracking device. Seems to me like they triggered it remotely. Now, don't know what the old Mary is up to, but not all hope is lost for Angel. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, zero day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. Wow, my mum would be proud. I'm kicking ass. Dead second spot. This is where those Kelly goons brought Angel. Not filling me with optimism. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. and access that network, shall we? I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. Guess that's where we start, huh?
My oh my, Deadbolt Trump's technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Brill. you. Thanks for the distraction. Gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. Oh, are you okay? He was about to kill you. You stopped him just in time. He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Wait. I think I know you. You're Caitlin Lau, the police inspector, right? I saw your video logs. So you really went after Mary Kelly on your own? I was so brave. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are you? You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. Not really. Our friend disappeared from the EPC. We followed his trail here. All those missing people. Thought they were going home. Disgusting. Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. God, I feel like shit. Hey, you should rest. Look, we'll send someone to escort you somewhere safe, all right? I'll go find Angel and I'll look for your files. You seem to really care about them. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. So we should work together, right? I mean, we're all going after Mary Kelly. We'll have a better shot if we join forces. All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And... There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Yeah, I don't think Mary Kelly is waiting for the donors to die. She doesn't strike me as the patient type. been done to them. Can you do a facial reconstruction, Bagley? I have a bad feeling about this. Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases. Negative. Fucking Kellys are getting too cocky, kidnapping people and chopping them up. We have to put them back in their place. Again, not a angel. She thought it through. Those microchips are probably filled with some sort of toxin that induces paralysis and asphyxiation. Intubation would prolong life until surgeons get round to them. So it can keep the organs fresh for harvesting. That's just charming. 
See if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in zero day? Well done, you got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. Well, obviously. Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapons smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokkovich, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Oh! Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Kate Mintz. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking, the Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. But it didn't work. How can it be different this time? The police force is more corrupt than ever, especially with Albion taking over. Get to a contact in the Attorney General's office, an honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right, but however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. 